Okay, this... Okay, this video is about percolated coffee and perking coffee, which is, for me, my go-to way of doing it. I know there are people that think it's not right, that it's not as good as others. I, I know coffee, and I have plenty of coffee makers of various kinds, from espresso to French press to you name it. And I know coffee beans and the proper way of selecting them and roasting them and all the other stuff. And I don't take a second seat, I, at least I don't yield to anybody but Juan Valdez as far as coffee is concerned. Perk coffee can be delicious. This particular pot is the manual old style percolator. You put it on the stove top and it perks. And the glass dome is for color. You see the color of the coffee change or the water change to the exact color that you want for your coffee and you know it's done at that point you shut the heat off this has and I'm going to try to show this it has a very large beaker for the coffee grinds inside there and you may notice and I'm going to help myself with a light here the holes for the spout I hope I can show this. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. Let me pause this and approach it. See those many holes that it has? So the coffee comes out real nice, real good, real steady, and plenty of it. If you want the convenience of automatic percolation, I'm going to focus in on two types. The Farberware, which these are both Farberware. I'm only going to perk this one and this one, but I'm going to show you the differences between the an old Farberware. I've had this, this is a 30 year old. It has the, the uh, dome and it also has, I'll show you the spout and also the brewing cycle. Uh, it has, some might say, well, gee, it works on a thermostat. Why does it have a dome? Well, maybe just traditionally. Farberware in the old days did that, it no longer does. This is their new style. Uh, you can't buy this. Farberware doesn't make this anymore. Uh, and, but it, 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 it can be of value and depending upon how much coffee you put in and, uh, well, I like having that dome. But I want to show you also something, sorry. It's changed. Do you see that half moon hole for the spout in there? That's no longer done. This is what Farberware has today. A little hole. They no longer have that. And they have this pull thing, which I don't know. I don't use this pot enough to have it yank off at some point. This I keep downstairs for guests. Okay. If you want to pull this thing out, you have to do that. You have to use the pull. And you see, even for a big pot, it's not a big beaker. This one here, you can actually just take off with your fingers, your hands. That stays on there nice and securely. So you don't have to upset or take a chance of eventually breaking something like this. Okay. Now, the other one I'm going to focus in on is the Presto, which is a four cup. That's a four cup. This is a little bit more, if you notice the, uh, where am I? It's a little chunkier and shorter. It's a little bit taller, but it's more slender. The Presto I like, it doesn't have the dome, that's fine. Because again, it's on a cycle, I understand it's a thermostat. But the little light goes on, which is nice. And it has a good long brew cycle, as does the old Farberware. I find the newer Farberware is a short cycle. Bear in mind that Farberware was, percolator was really so excellent in the old days when they made stuff like this. American made, up in the Bronx, 
fact, you could see the, bar the Farberware factory from the Bruckner, from the upper level of the Bruckner, the elevated part, as you went by. And it was a nice off uh, factory building, about, I'd say, four stories high, sort of a tan brick, sort of modern looking, though it was probably a mid-century construction. Uh, but they're gone. And when they went, uh, and they, I believe, I'm not sure, I followed the company completely, but I think it has production in China now. But it no longer makes, it, makes their stuff up in the Bronx. Uh, well, watch this. You know, there's a difference. And the Presto is a very fine company. They make the best pressure cooker going, in my opinion. But we're, we're focusing, I'm focusing on this percolator business right now. Okay, I'm going to plug in the Presto and the Farberware. Right now. And I'm probably not going to bother with, uh, well, maybe I should. I'm hearing the Farberware. It's over to the left. Let me put a more light on. That click you just heard is the Presto. I know because I use both of them. But the, that's the Presto. Now you can see the the Farberware is faster, but it's just as the old one is just as thorough. You can see the you can see the water coming up. Now I'm only brewing the Presto to show you that the little light comes on. Whereas the Farberware, I'm going to be showing you the, I'm focusing in on the dome and the, they both make very good cups of coffee. And I think I should let this run so you see how long the cycle is. In my opinion, the new Farberware percolators have a shorter cycle before the thermostat shuts it off. And in fact, with them, I actually brew it, I let it cool and brew it again to get a richer cup. But uh, with this older model, again, you can't get it. it doesn't exist. You don't get. It. I'm long since stopped making it. Uh, it's, you know, you can see the color of it is, the Presto is actually working, it's just not as loud, or not that the forever was loud, but That is the Farber we're making that sound. It's a very aggressive percolation.
this because I may move these things here. I'm done. See, it gets kind of sudsy. I'm hearing the Presto, you probably are not. This video, I could pause it, and, but I, I'd like to show the whole brew cycle. See that marvelous. The, the coffee comes out so nicely from that large half moon. Show it again. I mean, it comes out so nicely. Whereas the new farber, where it sort of dribbles out. I'm sure it's probably been prompted by a lawsuit. So they drill this little hole smaller than a dime. And, you know, you're pouring three or four cups, let's say. You're waiting. Your arm is getting tired. I never buy, a, I would never buy a current farberware. But if you, just glad I got this old one. You see it? Okay, it stopped. It's done. And now you'll be able to hear the presto. Now because the presto is a longer cycle, don't assume that it's richer coffee. It isn't. It's about the same. They're both good. It just, the cycle is just a little bit longer. And you know it's done when the little light comes on, which is a nice feature Presto has. Again, Presto is a very, I think, a very high quality company. steam coming out. They both have that, of course. Yeah, the light just came on. I'll pause for a second. I'll show you the beautiful color of the coffee as it comes out. Maybe I'll need this, maybe I won't. If the sun we're hitting will be orange. It's a beautiful, very tasty I use a good bean uh, which I grind over there which I grind in that thing, usually. Okay, thank you very much.